Flood waters potentially turning deadly today for one person in Norfolk. First responders working to save someone whose car was stuck in flood waters, but that person is now considered missing. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us this afternoon. I'm Tim Seaman. Norfolk officials holding a press conference just minutes ago to update the situation involving that missing person as well as flood concerns in the city. That news is all new at 5. KCA United's Bridget Bennett is in Norfolk this afternoon with the very latest. And Bridget, what new information were they able to share? Yeah, Tim, right now the good news is that levee is holding here in Norfolk, and that was the biggest concern all morning long, but it was a very difficult morning for first responders. Um, I'm here with the mayor of Norfolk. This is Josh Moaning. Josh, it has been a very long day for you. Talk about, first of all, starting with that missing person, when it happened, and explain a little bit about what happened and what first responders saw. Sure, it has been a long day. Unfortunate incident uh, that uh, began the day at 4 o'clock in the morning. We had first responders who and city crews who were monitoring the levee near North 1st Street and witnessed uh, a, a, a motorist enter the water, got swept away in the water, attempted to rescue but weren't able to, and so the person is missing. Yeah. We're told they were, he was on top of his car, close to reach him, but just weren't able to get there. It's a lot of water here tonight, and a lot of people tonight are out of their homes. Talk about about a third of your community is under mandatory evacuations right now. Yes, we had several people displaced from their homes. We started evacuations this morning. Uh, we have about a thousand people who are displaced currently. They're staying in five different uh, shelter locations throughout the community, and uh, there's been a lot of people that have stepped up and helped with the needs of resources uh, to house people throughout the night. And uh, we, we do still have some needs. We have a need for bedding materials, air mattresses, air mattresses specifically. And if people in the community uh, are able uh, to step up and help, um, they can donate air mattresses at the Ponca Tribe of Nebraska, which is at 1800 Syracuse Avenue. Yeah, thank you so much, Mayor. A lot of people out of their homes tonight, but it's not just Norfolk that is experiencing these evacuations and flooding. I'm also here with a county commissioner. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about what it's like in those rural areas, and you have some farmers and people on rural parts who also can't get to their homes. Yeah, that's right. We've got a lot of people displaced tonight, um, and a lot of people either stuck in their homes or unable to get home, even in neighboring counties. So one of the big focuses we have right now is, is trying to get those roads navigable again, um, but there are plenty of areas still that have water running over them, both from fields and other waterways throughout the county. Yeah, thank you so much. We did see that today on our drive over here to Norfolk. It's not just here. It's really many parts of Nebraska experiencing that right now. We met with one farmer um, near Laurel who had a lot of water over his field. Take a look. In Laurel, I've never seen a flood that bad. Yeah, this farmer and one of the many places in this community that is covered in water today. There are fields and ditches filled with water. And right now, all farmers can really do is watch and wait. We spoke with one man who said um, Highway 20 and Highway 15 were filled with water today. And one of the gravel roads to his home was washed out and covered in washing water. Of course, right now, the wind also a really big problem, especially in those open rural areas. Right now, all farmers like this man can do is just watch watch and wait for the water to go down. Look at the mess that we got out in the fields and stuff. We're going to have a lot of junk to pick up and it's going to slow it down. It's, you know, we should be thinking about doing something and it's going to be a while. Now, again, that farmer was one of the lucky people who was actually able to access his home via a back road today, but not everyone tonight are so lucky. A lot of people are going to be spending tonight in the foreseeable future out of their own homes and in shelters or staying with friends or families in the community who are in safe places tonight. We will be speaking with some of those evacuees coming up a little bit later on in the show, but for now, Tim, that's the situation in Norfolk and around here in Nebraska. I will send it back to you.